Welcome back. Joining us now is Laura Schwartz, who's the executive director of the Papillion Community Foundation. And who's that guy right there? That's the official mascot of Papillion 150th celebration. That is Papio Pete. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having us today. And I was already asking during the commercial break if Papio Pete's allowed to speak or not. And you said there's a language barrier that we're right. dealing with. He only speaks monarch butterfly, so okay. he doesn't really speak too much. And we didn't get a translator for today. No, so. we, we don't have one quite yet. Oh, well, tell me a little bit about Papio Pete. How did this all get started? Well, um, the Papillion 150th birthday is, is in, during 2020, mm -hmm. so um, we had um, the idea, the mayor wanted to have a, a year-long celebration to celebrate the 150th birthday, and so we started about a year ago developing ideas, you know, of how we could celebrate, um, and we had a really great committee with our um, events committee and our service committee. How could we serve the community in a fun way uh, and, and bring the whole you know, theme of the event over the whole year together. And the monarch butterfly is a big part of Papillion, so we have Papio Pete. And for people who don't know what the butterfly connection is, can you explain that to us? Well, I mean, obviously we're, our city is Papillion, which mm -hmm. means butterfly in French. So um, if you drive through Papillion, um, you'll definitely see a monarch butterfly picture on the water towers. Um, it's, it's ingrained into a lot of the logos of local business. So it's just part of who we are. Um, and, and so no, no better way to bring about our, our celebration than having Papio Pete. Yeah, definitely. So how long have you been planning for this moment? Well, I'll tell you, um, we actually started the planning process almost two years ago. Two years ago, yeah, wow. And, uh, and, uh, but Papio Pete was kind of a dream of, of uh, a longtime citizen, Mary Oakham, uh, in our community who just thought it would be a fun way to engage the community. Um, and then, you know, we found Pete and we talked to him about it and, you know, he was, he was on board. Feet off the table, Pete. This is, this is a work environment. He's got to be on his best behavior there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, so tell me, we were talking a little bit about the bench project. The, the benches are so amazing. I mean, we, when we, when this, um, this idea came from us uh, to from the Papillion Arts Council and we sat down and talked about it developed it and the one thing we were hoping to maybe get 10 benches you know to uh -huh. have 10 businesses get involved and do biz uh, you know purchase the benches and we now have 33 33 yeah, so we have wow. 33 benches that will be going out throughout the area of Papillion um, from probably the beginning of May until July um, and it's just going to be a really fun project is a public art project. We have artists from the whole metro area who have gotten involved and um, once all the benches are placed we'll have a map. It's will be an interactive map where people can go visit the benches and um, we're going to have a fun contest around where if you take a picture around the bench you can come get a stamp and so we're just really excited about the project. It's really cool. Yeah it sounds really exciting. Yeah. Well thank you so much for, for joining us. us and Papio thank you for being on your best behavior now. <laughs> and uh, stay with us, we'll be right back.